Federal and local officials remain silent today about what federal investigators were after when they searched computers at the Barry County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday. 24 Hour News A's Henry Herb was back in Barry County asking questions today and got some answers about what some people were wondering about. But a source speculated yesterday that this small fleet of former military vehicles parked out behind the Sheriff's Department might have something to do with the Fed's investigation. 24 Hour News 8 made a freedom of information request to try to find out more about them. We usually have to wait for answers, but today's Sheriff Dar Leaf was ready to show and tell. Yeah, this is the last one we got and probably the main one we'll ever use. The Sheriff says they like this big armored vehicle so much they'll probably get rid of the two tracked vehicles they got and keep it along with a the Humvee they use on winter roads. Uh, when our guys go out and you got somebody who's uh, shooting a rifle at you, uh, this right here will help us be able to go out and handle that. The sheriff says they couldn't even use the first armor they got. The tracks had steel in them that would tear up county roads. Then they got this one from another county. It still runs, but the big wheel truck they got last summer is the one they really like. It has enough room to evacuate a lot of civilians, he says. But this one here, we can drive on any of our roads. Leaf says the surplus armor still belongs to the military, so it's easy to see how people might wonder if the federal investigation is focused on them. But we still don't know because the sheriff says he can't answer any questions about what federal investigators are after, even though his ease in telling us about the armor suggests the surplus deals are not the target. Otherwise, the lid remains on about just what the feds were looking for here. In Barry County, Henry Herb, 24-Hour News 8.